This video is an introduction to corporate governance and the OECD framework for ACCA's Paper F8 Audit and Assurance. If you find this free revision video helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button. To view all the free revision videos available for Paper F8 and for hints and tips on how to pass your ACCA exams first time, visit my website www.accountingcollege.co.uk or subscribe to my YouTube channel. What is corporate governance? Corporate governance represents a set of principles, systems and processes by which a company is governed. It provides guidelines on how a company can be directed and controlled so as to reach its goals and objectives and add value and benefit to a company, all of which is in the interests of stakeholders. The Cadbury Report 1992 defined corporate governance as corporate governance is a system by which companies are directed and controlled. Nowadays, there may be many shareholders in an organisation, normally playing a passive role in the running of the organisation, delegating control to directors. This delegation of control can lead to conflict of interest between the owners of the company, the shareholders, and the controllers of the company, the directors. Historically, audits would be one of the main checks on corporate governance. Corporate governance came about as a response to major accounting scandals such as Enron, Lehman Brothers and WorldCom. In the US, you have Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002, which is a rules-based approach. It provides a set of strict corporate governance laws for organisations to follow. In the UK, you have the UK Corporate Governance Code, which is a principle-based approach. It provides a set of best practices for organisations to follow. In 1999, the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development developed the principles of corporate governance. These principles were revised in 2004. While focused on publicly traded companies, they are useful to improve the corporate governance of non-trading companies also. They are not rules that organisations have to abide by. Rather, they are principles, outlining the preferred outcomes of good corporate governance. Maintenance of an organisation's corporate governance is the responsibility of those operating the organisation. There are six principles each made up of a number of sub-principles. Principle 1. Ensuring the basis for an effective corporate governance framework. A good corporate governance framework should identify the distribution of rights and responsibilities among the different participants in the organisation. Board of directors, managers, shareholders, employees, suppliers, etc. This includes the rules of law and procedures for making decisions. In short, every individual in the organisation should be aware of what they are accountable for. Principle 2. The rights of shareholders and key ownership functions. Directors have fiduciary responsibility to run the organisation in the best interest of shareholders. But as we have seen with the major accounting failures that have occurred, this has not always been happening. The corporate governance framework should protect and facilitate the exercise of shareholders' rights. Principle 3. The equitable treatment of shareholders. The corporate governance framework should ensure the fair treatment of all shareholders, including minority and foreign shareholders. Principle 4. The role of stakeholders in corporate governance. The corporate governance framework of an organisation should recognise the legal rights of stakeholders and actively encourage the cooperation of the organisation with its various stakeholders in order to create wealth, jobs and financially sound organisations. Principle 5. Disclosure and Transparency the corporate governance framework should ensure timely and accurate disclosure of all material matters with regard to financial situations, performance, ownership and the governance of the organisation. Any important matters arising during the year should be communicated to shareholders as appropriate. 
and annual financial statements should be produced in a timely basis and should include all relevant information of interest to shareholders. Principle 6. The Responsibility of the Board the corporate governance framework should ensure the effective monitoring of management by the board and the board's accountability to organisations and its shareholders. This could be through the use of audit committees, the appointment of non-executive directors on the board and the segregation of roles of the chairman and CEO. In short, corporate governance is the means by which companies are directed and controlled. The aim of good corporate governance is to ensure organisations are run in the best interest of shareholders and other stakeholders. If you found this free revision video helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button. To view all the free revision videos available for paper F8 and for hints and tips on how to pass your ACCA exams first time, visit my website www.accountingcollege.co.uk or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.